Today we are going to be talking about the kilowatt hour. Now what is the kilowatt hour? Let's examine this quantity. First of all, the kilowatts, this over here will be a measure of power. So this over here will be a measure of power. On the other hand, the hour is a measure of time, like so. So this over here is a measure of time. So the kilowatt hour will be a quantity which is power multiplied by time. Well, if we remember, power is equal to electrical energy or any energy for that matter divided by time. So that means that our electrical energy will be equal to power multiplied by time. This leads us to the definition of the kilowatt hour, that is the amount of energy transferred by a device of power rating of one kilowatt in one hour. Now, let's see if we can work out what one kilowatt hour is in joules. Remember the standard unit, the uh, SI unit for, for energy is joules, so there has to be a conversion factor from the kilowatt hour to joules. So let's try and convert that. I'm just going to write one kilowatt hour. Now this will be equal to one. Now the kilo I'm going to need to convert to uh, standard units. So remember kilo stands for 10 to the power of 3. Multiply by the watts which is already uh, in standard units so that's fine. And um, an hour I'm going to need to convert to seconds. So the 60 seconds in, in 60 minutes in one hour so it's going to be a factor of 3600. And if we put that in standard form, we are going to get that one kilowatt hour will be equal to 3.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 joules. Now we can see why we actually need the kilowatt hour. One joule is actually a tiny, tiny amount of energy. So if we get our electrical bill in, let's say, joules, we're going to be getting millions and millions of sort of joules. And it would be far easier if we had a unit. It would be far more useful to have a unit which is a large amount of joules. So one kilowatt hour is actually equal to 3.6 times 10 to the power of 6 joules. In practice, this means that if you wanted to convert kilowatt hours to joules, all we would need to do is multiply by 3.6 times 10 to the power of 6. And if we wanted to go the other way from joules to kilowatt hours, all we would need to do is divide by 3.6 times 10 to the power of 6. Remember that if we're inputting this into a calculator, we need to include brackets after the division sign. Now let's apply what we have learned so far to a problem. We have an electrical heater which draws 3 amps of current at 240 volts. Find the cost of running this for 5 hours if the cost of electricity is 3 pence per kilowatt hour. And this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt the problem. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we find the electrical energy. Remember, power is equal to electrical energy divided by time, which means that our electrical energy will be equal to power multiplied by time. And we're gonna, we are going to want this energy in kilowatt hours in this case. So our, our power is equal to V times I so energy will be V I times T. My voltage is 240. My current is uh, 3 amps. So I'll need to do 240 multiply by 3. This will give me the power in watts. However, because I want this, the, the power in kilowatts, I'm going to also divide by a factor of 10 to the 3, which is 1,000, 
like so. And uh, this mathematical quantity is actually equal to my power VI in kilowatts. All I need to do is multiply this by the number of hours, which is 5. So this over here is my T. And if I put this in a scientific calculator, I'm going to get that uh, I've used up 3.6 kilowatt hours of energy. So 3.6 kilowatt hours. If each of those kilowatt hours costs three pence, then the total cost will be equal to 3.6 kilowatt hours multiplied by three because each of them costs three pence which is equal to 10.8 pence which is approximately equal to 11 pence okay folks so hopefully this makes sense if there are any questions about the kilowatt hour do let me know in the comment section down below and thank you very much for watching